This actually, the ayah 26 and 27th of Surah Al-Baqarah, these words are very much resembling. And this is a sign that the time of the revelation of these surahs, Surah Ibrahim and Surah Ad, was very close to the time of the revelation of Surah Al-Baqarah. Very near the event of Hijrah. Alladina yanquzun of alladina and as far those who break yanquzun ahdallah min ba'de misaqi. The covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after having it confirmed and they are breaking these relations which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had commanded that they should be joined, not broken. And they are making mischief in the land. For them there is the lana, the curse, and for them will be the evil abode. Allah is He who spreads, outspreads the provision. For whomsoever he likes, gives him more and more and more, plenty and plenty of it. And yakdaro limay yasha, these are the words understood here. And for whomsoever he wants, he, you know, decreases it. He gives, he straightens it, narrows it. And these people, you know, they are rejoicing, they are over enjoying the life of this world. While the life of this world compared with the hereafter is nothing but a passing and joy or a little comfort. Again the same. And the, these people who have disbelieved, they say, why has not been sent any miracle, any clear visible sign on him from his Lord? Tell them that actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he leads whomsoever he likes astray and he gives the guidance towards him only to the person who turns to him who intends to have the guidance Allah will give the guidance but who doesn't intend himself well Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to give him guidance he's not going to show him those signs and miracles they are gone gone on the days that was the childhood of humanity now humanity has come of age now mature mentally mature now you have to think and understand for your own self. Those who believe and their hearts, they get satisfaction in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Behold, these hearts, these souls can have satisfaction only in the zikr and in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You might have plenty of everything, all the, you know, luxuries, all the comforts, everything, but still, you know, you, you won't find that satisfaction of your heart. These hearts can only be, feel satisfaction if they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who believe and do good deeds, for them there are blessedness and the very beautiful place of return. Husnu ma'ab. Kazalik arsalna ka fi ummatin qad khalat min qabliha umaman. In this way, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have sent you to a community before whom so many communities have passed. In this very Arabian peninsula, the Aad and the Samud and so on, many communities and nations have, have lived. لِتَتْلُوَ عَلَيْهُمُ الَّذِي أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ So that you recite to them what we have sent down to you in revelations. وَهُمْ يَكْفُرُونَ بِالرَّحْمَانِ And they are denying, rejecting Rahman. قُلْ هُوَ رَبِّي لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّهُ Now this is another issue. Because the name of the supreme deity with them was Allah. They objected, who is this Rahman? We know Allah. But who is this Rahman? You say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We know Allah. Who is Rahman? You will find this discussed in detail in Surah Al-Furqan. And we are not going to accept Rahman. Who is this Rahman? Wahum yakfuruna bin Rahman. Qul huwa Rabbi. La ilaha illa. He is my Lord. 
and there is no God except him alayhi tawakkal tu wa ilayhi matab and I have put all my faith in him and towards him is my return walau anna quranan sujirat bihil jibal aw qutriyat bihil ard aw kullama bihil mawta if there was even there was a quran by which the mountains could be moved or whereby the earth were left asunder and whereby the dead were spoken to they would not have believed now this is actually addressed to the muslims as i told you when we were studying surah al-anam that maybe that some muslims thought well if they are shown the miracle if they are demanding miracle if their demand is exceeded what's the harm maybe some of them really come to believe maybe they are sincere in their demand and even if they don't believe at least they will have to shut up their mouths they won't be able to say anything their argument will be finished but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have read all this you know in very great detail in surah al-anam here the same subject if we had sent down this quran in a way that mountains were moved and the earth was cleft and broken and you know the dead were made to to talk even then they would not have accepted they they, they would never come to believe bal lillahi al-amru jami'a all authority belongs to allah afalam yayas alladhina amanu are those who believe not convinced and their convince their concern has not been set at rest afalam yayas alladhina amanu allahu yasha allahu la hadan nas jami'a if allah had so desired he could put all the humanity on the right path was it beyond his power he could make all all abu jahl and all abu lahab could be made abu bakr siddiq could be made you know umar farooq he could turn them into any direction if he had to use the force no because he has created them for testing khalaq al maut wal hayat li yablu wa kum yakum aswarana and for testing there is necessary to give them a choice freedom of choice and you know they are exercising their choice freedom of choice now you don't get perturbed over it wala yaralu alladhina kafaru tusibuhum bima sanaru qari'atun aw tahullu qariban min darihim hatta yati wa'dullah and there will the disaster cease to afflict them because of what they do or it alights near their their houses until allah's promise comes to pass this subject also we studied in surah al-anam also ayat 42 to 45 surah al-araf ayat 94 and 95 whenever allah sent messengers to any uh, his messengers to any community he sent to the, that community small inflictions so that if they can you know they can wake up wake up let them wake up if they can repent let them repent if they are sleeping so maybe that they they wake up from their slumber but these things will come continue coming before that hour when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's final judgment and final you know command comes hatta yati abadullah inna allah la yukhlifu al-mi'ad and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't go back on his promise wa laqad istuhiya bi rusul min qablik and oh prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam all the messengers before who came before you they were also mocked upon fam laytu lil ladina kafaru and we gave them respite those people who who disbelieved we gave them you know respite summa akhastuhum and then i seized them fa kaifa kana iqab and you can see how was the the punishment which came to them to the people of ad and people of samud and so on